Good morning and happy Friday, first friends, boys and girls. Penny and Clifford here to read our last story of the week to you. We are outside, it's beautiful. So wanted to enjoy the fresh air and the sunshine while I read our story. Our story today, boys and girls, is a book called Elmer. Elmer, Mer, Elmer is the name of the elephant. Let's see what this story has to say. I think you're going to like it. Miss Penny really likes it. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old. Elephants tall and elephants short. Elephants fat and elephants thin. All were different, but all were happy and almost all were the same color. Do you see? Do you see, boys and girls? Do you see one that's a little bit different color than the others? Yes. All different sizes and shapes of elephants, just like us. We're all different sizes and shapes, aren't we? All except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. He's so pretty. Look how colorful he is, boys and girls. All of the colors that Elmer is. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy their games and their jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. There they are. See, they're playing. They're having fun. Oh, I love it. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant? He thought, no wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. Elmer knew he looked different boys and girls, but he didn't want to look different than the other elephants. Elmer slipped away. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. Everybody knew who Elmer was. All the animals said hello to Elmer. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until the berries fell on the ground. He found a tree that had elephant colored berries. He shook it so hard that all the berries dropped to the ground. Then Elmer lay down and rolled over all of the berries on top of the berries this way and that. He picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with the berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or pink or red or purple or blue or black or green or white. Elmer looked just like any other elephant. See, boys and girls, Elmer, Elmer thought he looked funny. So he wanted to look like all the other elephants. On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant, they said. They didn't realize it was Elmer because he had put the berry juice all over him, boys and girls. Do you see? That's Elmer, but you can't tell because he looks like all of the other elephants. When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the other elephants noticed him. They all looked the same, boys and girls. All of the elephants were the same color. 
As he stood there, Elmer Fett felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old blue sky. Same old rain cloud. Same old elephants. Everything looked the same, boys and girls. Elmer didn't feel any different now that he looked like all the other elephants. The other, other elephants were standing absolutely still. Sorry. Silent and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and, at the top of his voice, shouted. All the other elephants, everybody was silent and serious, boys and girls. Nobody was talking, nobody was making any noise, and Elmer couldn't stand it any longer. Finally, he lifted his trunk, and at the top of his voice, he shouted, Boo! Oh my goodness. What do you think? Do you think it surprised the other elephants? <gasps> the other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the other elephants began to laugh. Too bad Elmer isn't here to share the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. They didn't realize that Elmer had covered himself in berry juice. They didn't realize Elmer was there at all, boys and girls, because they all looked the same. And then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer gasped an old elephant as Elmer was washing back to normal. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you, Elmer? We must celebrate this day every year, said another, the day of Elmer's best joke. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, said a third, and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. See, boys and girls, it's starting to rain, and all of the berry juice is rubbing, is falling off of, is, is uh, coming off of Elmer. So his true colors, his true patchwork is beginning to show again. And all the elephants thought Elmer was playing a joke on them. And one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white and have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade who is ordinary color, you will know it must be Elmer. Oh, boys and girls, all the other elephants decorate themselves one day a year to look like Elmer, and Elmer one day a year dresses to look like an ordinary elephant. Oh, boys and girls, that's a great story. Boys and girls, we have to remember, just like Elmer, who looked a little different from everybody else, that we all have to be ourselves and we all have to love ourselves. We have to love who God has created us to be. We don't need to change anything about ourselves. God loves us just the way we are and we belong to God. So I love this book. Elmer the Patchwork Elephant. I think he, uh, he has a great message for us just to be ourselves and to love who we are. Boys and girls, I hope all of you have a great weekend this weekend. It's a long, it's a three-day weekend, three-day weekend. It's Memorial Day on Monday, so I'll be back with you all on Tuesday. I look forward to seeing you all then. I hope all of you have a great weekend with your families. Please know that I love you so much, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. So for now, Penny and Clifford say, bye-bye.